God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism. There is one God who is Father of all. There is one body, there is one spirit, there is one hope to which we are called. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism, there is one God, who is Father of all. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism. There is one God, who is Father of all. Their voice has gone out to the limits of the earth, their words to the ends of the world. Alleluia. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth the work of his hands. Day unto day takes up the story, and night unto night makes known the message. No speech, no word, no voice is heard, yet their span extends through all the earth, their words to the utmost bounds of the world. There he has placed a tent for the sun, it comes forth like a bridegroom coming from his tent, rejoices like a champion to run its course. At the end of the sky is the rising of the sun. To the furthest end of the sky is its course. There is nothing concealed from its burning heat. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Their voice has, has gone, gone out to the limits of the earth, their words to the ends of the world. Alleluia. They proclaimed what God has done for us. They grasped the meaning of his deeds. Alleluia. Hear my voice, O God, as I complain. Guard my life from dread of the foe. Hide me from the band of the wicked, from the throng of those who do evil. They sharpen their tongues like swords. They aim bitter words like arrows, to shoot at the innocent from ambush, shooting suddenly and recklessly. They scheme their evil course. They conspire to lay secret snares. They say, who will see us? Who can search out our crimes? He will search who searches the mind and knows the depths of the heart. God has shot them with his arrow and dealt them sudden wounds. Their own tongue has brought them to ruin, and all who see them mock. Then will all men fear. They will tell what God has done. They will understand God's deeds. The just will rejoice in the Lord and fly to him for refuge. All the upright hearts will glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. They proclaimed what, what God, God has done for us. They grasped the meaning of his deeds. Alleluia. God's holiness was revealed by them. All nations saw God's glory. Alleluia. The Lord is King. Let earth rejoice. Let all the coastlands be glad. Cloud and darkness are his raiment, his throne justice and right. A fire prepares his path. It burns up his foes on every side. His lightnings light up the world. The earth trembles at the sight. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim his justice. All peoples see his glory. Let those who serve idols be ashamed, those who boast of their worthless gods. All you spirits worship him. 
Zion hears and is glad. The people of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. For you indeed are the Lord, most high above all the earth, exalted far above all spirits. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He guards the souls of his saints. He sets them free from the wicked. Light shines forth for the just, and joy for the upright of heart. Rejoice, you just, in the Lord. Give glory to his holy name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God's holiness was revealed by them. All, All nations saw God's, God's glory. glory. Alleluia. From the letter of the Apostle Paul to the Ephesians. I plead with you as a prisoner for the Lord, to live a life worthy of the calling you have received, with perfect humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one another lovingly. Make every effort to preserve the unity which has the Spirit as its origin and peace as its binding force. There is but one body and one Spirit, just as there is but one hope given all of you by your call. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and works through all and is in all. Each of us has received God's favor in the measure in which Christ bestows it. Thus, you find scripture saying, when he ascended on high, he took a host of captives and gave gifts to men. He ascended. What does this mean but that he had first descended into the lower regions of the earth? He who descended is the very one who ascended high above the heavens, that he might fill all men with his gifts. It is he who gave apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers in roles of service for the faithful to build up the body of Christ till we become one in faith and in the knowledge of God's Son, and form that perfect man who is Christ come to full stature. Let us then be children no longer, tossed here and there, carried about by every wind of doctrine that originates in human trickery and skill in proposing error. Rather, let us profess the truth in love and grow to the full maturity of Christ the head. Through him, the whole body grows, and with the proper functioning of the members joined firmly together by each supporting ligament, builds itself up in love. No prophecy ever came from man. The men who spoke the word of God were inspired by the Holy Spirit. Alleluia. The Lord gives wisdom. Knowledge and understanding flow from his mouth. The men who spoke the word of God were inspired by the Holy Spirit. Alleluia. From the Treatise Against Heresies by Saint Irenaeus, Bishop. The Church, which has spread everywhere, even to the ends of the earth, received the faith from the apostles and their disciples. By faith, we believe in one God, the Almighty Father, who made heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in them. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who became man for our salvation. And we believe in the Holy Spirit, who through the prophets foretold God's plan, the coming of our beloved Lord Jesus Christ his birth from the Virgin, his passion, his resurrection from the dead, his ascension into heaven, and his final coming from heaven in the glory of his Father, to recapitulate all things and to raise all men from the dead, so that by the decree of his invisible Father, he may make a just judgment in all things, and so that every knee should bow 
in heaven and on earth and under the earth to Jesus Christ, our Lord and our God, our Savior and our King, and every tongue confess him. The church, spread throughout the whole world, received this preaching and this faith, and now preserves it carefully, dwelling as it were in one house having one soul and one heart, the church holds this faith, preaches and teaches it consistently as though by a single voice. For though there are different languages, there is but one tradition. The faith and the tradition of the churches founded in Germany are no different from those founded among the Spanish and the Celts, in the East, in Egypt, in Libya, and elsewhere in the Mediterranean world. Just as God's creature, the Son, is one and the same the world over, so also does the Church's preaching shine everywhere to enlighten all men who want to come to a knowledge of the truth. Now of those who speak with authority in the Church's, no preacher, however forceful, will utter anything different, for no one is above the master, nor will a less forceful preacher diminish what has been handed down. Since our faith is everywhere the same, no one who can say more augments it, nor can anyone who says less diminish it. Christ sent me to preach the gospel, but not with the wisdom of this world, in which the cross of Christ loses all its meaning. For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are on the way to destruction, but to us who are on the way to salvation, it is the proof of God's power. Alleluia. The world did not come to know God through wisdom, it has pleased God to save those who believed through the foolishness of the message we preach. For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are on the way to destruction. But for us who are on the way to salvation, it is the proof of God's power. Alleluia. You are God, we praise you. You, you are, are the Lord, Lord we, we acclaim you. You, you are, are the eternal, eternal Father, all creation worships you. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all worship, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not spurn the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Keep us today, Lord, from all sin. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. Let us pray. Father, you gave St. Mark the privilege of proclaiming your gospel. May we profit by his wisdom and follow Christ more faithfully. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And give him thanks.